So, originally this deck was going to be uh, the new Nahiri, the Unforgiving. But I wasn't able to make that work in, uh, in a few different ways. Um, I couldn't, like... I was having trouble discarding cards and getting good uh, creatures or equipment back with it on turn four. It just... It, it didn't feel good. It didn't, it didn't win. Uh, then I changed it to a Jor Kadeen because it was uh, keeping a lot of the similar cards. Um, that didn't work out too well either. So <laughs> I decided to switch to Kemba, Ka, Enduring. And it's working out a bit better. So Kemba, Ka, Enduring costs one and a white. It is a cat cleric. It's 2-2. Two, two. Whenever Kemba, Ka, Enduring, or another cat enters the battlefield under your control, attach up to one target equipment you control to that creature. Equipped creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Pay three and two white. Create a 2-2 two, two white cat creature token. So... I've got what good cats I can in here. Now, it's being a faster deck, a more aggro, lower to the ground deck, is important. But um, but I have cards, I have like a Regal Caracal in here because I'm able to play it and then immediately attach equipment to it, potentially like a haste equipment or whatever. And that buffs my other cats and gives me two more cats with lifelink. Um... I have Elish Norn, Mother of Machines, uh, also at the high end, to stop ETBs from my opponent, as well as enhance the, some of the ETBs I have. Now, there's a whole bunch of low-cost creatures and equipment um, in the 1 and 2 spot. A bunch in the 3 as well, but mostly it just sits in the, in the 1 and 2. Even with a 0 for Bonesaw. Uh, I've had great Turn one, two, three um, curves with my one cost cards and Kemba on turn two. And then something else uh, potentially on turn three. It's been a lot of fun. I realized early on I needed more removal, so I added more removal. I have. Various effects such as that uh, destroy effects such as destroy evil, and uh, I have swords to plowshares to exile, and then I have a lot of like the seal away ossification, um, other exile effects, soul partition. So yeah, seal away ossification. Um, down kitty. Hey buddy. Um, annex sentry to. Uh, get rid of any problem creatures or artifacts or enchantments, potentially, depending on the card, of course. Then there's some more expensive equipment. So I say more expensive, but at three cost. But uh, Swords of Forge and Frontier and sort of Body and Mind, uh, mostly because of their protection capabilities, have been very, very helpful. So there's lots of good stuff <laughs> in the deck. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you enjoy uh, the, the gameplay. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. And if you like it, like it, and subscribe, maybe. All right, let's go ahead and start with the game. All right, that was fast. Um, that was a fast cue. Athreos Shroud Veiled. So let's see what we got here. Two planes. Um... I don't have a one cost equipment, so I'm going to go ahead and mug and hopefully get a Basilisk Caller, for example. Works for me. Um, got a borrow time, wedding announcement, more creatures, and the buffs, and the card draw potentially. So, what does Athreos do? Let's. I don't want to bug out the game if I. I'll be fine. As long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven, it's not a creature. Oh. Hello, friend. At the beginning of your end step, put a coin counter on another target creature. Whenever a creature with a coin counter on it dies, or put an exile, return the card to the battlefield under your control. Cool. All right. Getting started. Oh, there's that. Let's 
So the lion sash is mostly useless now. Um, it'll just be a 1-1 one, one creature. Let's... Test for blade. And drop in changeling. Okay. Draw a card. Good, good. Big fan of that. Um, so... Let's diversify. This. They don't have. All right, that doesn't. Yeah, okay, that was just rest in peace. Wow. That was nice. That felt really good. <laughs> Do they have the removal? The board wipe? All right, yeah, they just didn't have anything. Um, that's unfortunate that we didn't get a game. We, it was basically us gold fishing to see like what kind of thing the deck can do. And we had uh, a piece of removal uh, in hand, so that was cool. But all right, that's game one. Let's go ahead and play again. Another quick cue. I won't even cut that out. Nah, I will. Okay. This time we're playing against Teferi, Temporal Pilgrim. I love Soul Stealer Axe. Some removal, some double strike. That looks good to me. All right. I'm going to drop in that Soul Stealer Axe first thing. I really like dropping a an equipment on turn one. It it following that up and equipping Kemba on turn two, and having mana to do stuff on turn three, is really the the reason you play it. Um, I sh technically should have played that afterwards. All right. Knive. Okay. Not too worried. I got a faithful absence. Jacob Pocket Inspector. Um. All right. Gross. Very gross. That's what I like to see, though, seriously. <laughs> Deck's working a lot better after uh, like an hour and a half of refining it. I just wish I had more time. I only have a few hours after I drop my daughter off at daycare to be able to do anything, chores at home, and then. Uh, get a deck working and, and then record. So I don't have that much time. All right. Oh, I thought this was the uh, different land. Let's see. Um. Let's go ahead and do that, and then just hopefully, probably, what do they got? There's Teferi, but what can Teferi do? Not much. Sphinx of Clear Skies. No, domain. Flying War 2 Domain. Whenever Sphinx of Clear Skies deals combat damage to player, reveal the top X cards in your library. Okay. All right, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So... Let me think. Yep. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What's going on? My opponent can't do it. Oh, he can draw a card, then exile a card from his hand face down. Okay, all attack. Block this one. Leon and Lightbringer. Okay, that's nice game. No, it's not. Oh, oh, that taps my stuff down. Okay. Let's see here. Do I have anything to do with haste? No. Let's see then them. Well, they're 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 next turn. Do they have anything to do? Anything? Your hall mimic under the battlefield's copy of. Oh, that's annoying. That's fine though. I'll just move the. Uh, is it? Excuse me, target opponent controls the temple. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll just move them all the sky clothes over to the Dan of the Capuchin, and that should do it, right? Well, they have two mana. They can always return it to my hand. Oh, nope, don't have anything. Okay. Two victories. I think that's two more victories in a row than we've ever had <laughs> playing so far. Oh well, uh, this is good. Uh, I'm glad I'm, I'm doing well for a change. So let's go ahead and play again. See how we keep on doing. Agnes the Dragon's Lash. Is this the treasure one? Your token guy. Always getting that stole soul sealer axe. Beautiful. Work creature control with haste attacks, create a tap treasure token. Okay, cool. I have problems with it being junt though. With all that removal they're probably gonna have. Hmm. I'm glad the Q times are faster. Too bad my opponent's taking their sweet time, deciding what they want to do. So I like the new set a lot. Uh, there's a lot of really powerful cards, and everyone wants, of course, really powerful cards, because that's just what's fun. And got a lot of those. There we go, buddy. Bankbuster, cool. Do what we get. I'm going to play as a mentor of the meek. I want as many chances to draw as many cards as possible. I don't know how much removal they're gonna have. So I'm that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plan around a lot of it. Well that's pretty.
I'm loving this card advantage. It feels like I'm getting a lot of the same cards, though. I mean, I've gotten, what, Soul Sealer Axe every single time. Every single game in my opening hand, so... I mean, that works. Whatever works, right? So, what do I do next turn? Do I play the Regal Caracal? And get... And then Soul Stealer Axe. I don't have to. Oh no, 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 because it doesn't have, it won't have haste, so I don't want to do that. Okay. I think I'll just give Let's see. Red from green. Yep, I don't even know what I'm thinking. That should have been a no brainer. the artifact. Good call. Nope. Okay. Coming at you. Oh, are you going to crew it? And then lose the Reckoner Bankbuster? Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me a one cost spell. Really? Uh, yeah, okay, no, okay. Swords is in my hand. Okay. It's not one of those extra cards. <laughs> I'll save it for. Uh, a real threat, real potential threat. This has been gross. This has been doing really well. Number one more creatures you control the combat to a player, trade treasure token, and sacrifice a treasure, exile the top card of your library, you may play the card this turn. There we go. There we go. You know that three life, buddy. No. Oops. <laughs> Oops, oops. <laughs> I just autopiloted straight through it. That's unfortunate. Um... I don't lose because of that. Ugh. It hurts. What was that? Burden Rejuvenation. Seek X creature, enchantment, and or a place where cards will access the highest amount of value among creatures you control from these cards on the battlefield. Ooh, gross. Ogre Battle Driver gave them plus two plus oh. Okay. Or 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21.
thought you were going to lose, right? Did I do the math wrong? Oh, you have two mana. You have three mana open. Are you going to... I'm not sure player excel at the cross from that graveyard. Put a plus plus get up for you. Play creature card excel. Like, Gain one life for each dog creature card excel this way. Oh! Oh, that's it. Well, then that's the game. Good. Oh, oh, what do you got? You got Terror of the Peaks. You can't. Yeah, you can cast Terror of the Peaks. And block with Terror of the Peaks. You have to cast Terror of the Peaks, right? I don't know, what else do you have? Oh, good game. Explore. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Okay. All right, what can I do to win this? Um... Crap. <laughs> Um, let's Basilisk call her. And I'll drop out a Skrelv. Is it a good game? Oh, oh, wait, yeah, Tear the Peaks. And then you can drop out. Oh, no, that's just three damage. What else do you have? Oh, because he can attack with flying. Yeah, good game. Yeah. That was awesome. That was fun. And then, yep. Mm hmm. Oh, that's cool. That, that's cool interaction. A lot of fun synergy there. All right. Lost our first game, but it was kind of close. They were really searching at the end there. They had they had to sacrifice their treasures. They found sacrificed two treasures, found a black removal spell that cost two, used their final two treasures, and killed Kemba. That was so close. Oh man, I love it. I love that. I love it when it gets that close. That's so lucky. Because you know, you know you, my opponent was like feeling like on top of the world right there. Like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, who are we playing against next? Tiamat. I love Tiamat. Let's see how Kitty Cat does against Tiamat. All right. Looks good to me. Mm hmm I love these lands. These metal album cover lands are so cool. Sorry if you can hear the uh, workers outside doing the lawn stuff. I don't know if you can hear it. It looks like you might not be able to. Maybe if I'm when I'm talking, but... Oh, well. My opponents are really taking their time with their mulligans, these games. Okay, keep seven. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to drop Kemba. That way I have a 4-4 with lifelink and trample out. Okay. Now... Um... I'll drop 
SRAM. Because I have ossification in hand. And the Legion's landing, because that costs one. Maybe I'll get to transform Legion's landing next turn. We'll see what they put out. Temple of the Dragon Queen. I think I have that in the alternate. The really cool, like, old school book art. Big fan of that. That's four. Alright, they got... They could totally wipe everything. So I'm going to let them have that. And I'll create a 1-1 one -one vampire on, my, on their turn. Eldros Witherbloom. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one -one black and green pest creature token. And pay 10 life, untap all lines you control, activate only once each turn. Sorry, buddy. Wait. X-proof. X-proof. Oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Well, so... Yeah, I think that's game, right? Well, no, because they could totally they could totally play something. They've got to be able to play something. All right, I'll ossify. Draw that card. Okay. Draw the card anyway. Deck and stone. No attacks. Enter. All right. Let's get rid of Belladros Witherbloom. Okay. But, oh, you just gave up? Okay. Did you tell me you didn't forget and you just gave up? Sorry, buddy. Was that just vengeance? It's just anger killing uh, Kemba? Okay. Let's try another game. We're doing well so, well so far, and it's fast. Uh, fast, quick cues, and. Uh, I'll be honest, it feels good to actually be winning. <laughs> Doing more winning than losing, especially. That's uh, 3 to 1. 75% win rate. Cool. Azuri, Stalker of Spheres. They're going to proliferate out the butt. <laughs> I don't know what, what that means. If you take that literally, that's a little weird. Um, No, I want to try and get a 1 cost. Nope. Hmm. Revel Schnorn. That's the first game we didn't have a one cost in our opening hand. That's okay. Let's put up Mirror Shield. Kemba next turn. Maybe we'll get a one cost spell. Nope. Give our buddy Hexproof. And the ability to kill Death Touchers. Alright, Missouri. We just put him out for funsies. Let's see. We 
I have no permanent cards. Um, let's draw a card. The land? Let's Luminarch Aspirant. Okay. Three damage. On the scoreboard. Next turn we can Regal Caracal. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, proliferate. Ooh. Ooh, that's awesome. Thrumming bird. Never gets come down to player. Proliferate. Um. Yeah, there's nothing in there yet. Let's see. Oh no! Oh! Oops. Why didn't they block with Azuri? Or no, wait, wait, wait a minute, what? Okay. <laughs> I really need to be a little slower. I'm, I'm a little hasty, I'm a little excited. Excitable right now. I just gotta slow down. Oh yeah, he draws card whenever they proliferate. And on his creature plays much as on hand, counter target artifact or enchantment spell. Plus one plus one counter target creature. Your player shuffles up three target cards from the graveyard to the library. Okay, cool. Proliferate and draw a card. That's awesome. I might make a Missouri deck very soon. Uh huh. Gross. What? No, no, no. So hasty. Bring him down to seven. But they got a full grip. And I don't. No. Are you taking my Kemba? No. Bummer. Sure. Draw the card. Oh, you... Oh, do I have any way of getting Kemba back? No. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay, bring him down to one. Next to blockers. Oh my god, is this win? Wait, can I reconfigure as an instant? Oh, they... Why did I think I could bring him down to one? I don't know. Gross. There 
They're at four. No permanents. My graveyard. Body of research to what? What? Oh. Oh. All right. Top of the deck. Give me. Um. Sort of body and mind. Body and mind. Top deck. Show me potato salad. Oh, it wasn't it. Okay. It doesn't have trample. It doesn't have trample. That's a cool deck. That's a lot of proliferation. Sort of body and mind off the top. Oh, but they have Kemba. They can they can block with Kemba. Oh man, I don't even know what could do it. Yeah. Why didn't he attack? You, you just attack with the seventy eight seventy eight and force me. I think. Um. I think they've got it. All right, good game. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's fine. That was that was cool. That's a fun deck. I really want to make the Azuri deck. Stop being crazy, cats. Uh, I think we should play one more game. Maybe, just maybe, be at above 60% win rate. I'm going to have trouble calculating the percentages at six win at six games, though. What, 17 and a half? No. Eh, whatever, math. Thanks for waiting through these screens with me. Uh, I've just been wanted. I've just I've been very excited, and I've been wanting to talk a lot. So, um, although I'm oh oh no 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 no. Ocean tie of life's origin. Okay. We'll keep this. Good, more lands. Gimme, gimme. Woo, one damage. And a useless poison counter. Doesn't show you what it does when you click on it. What's it mean? But seriously, what if I was new? And I wanted to know what that was. I forgot what it was. I should have, well, no, he's, he's, he has hexproof now, so that's fine. Yeah. Zusa played a couple extra lands. 
Oh, just the one? Okay. I think I did that wrong. I should have played the Black Blade Reforged and the Hope of Kirapur. And then next turn I can play the Metallic Mimic and put the Black Blade Reforged on the Metallic Mimic. I'm low on, land, low on lands now. Every enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. That's not good. Good thing I have ossification. Hopefully they'll draw land. And that's it. No more lands. That's not a land. Uh, might as well use all the mana. No. Ugh. Oh well. No. I'll, I'll get the extra damage in. Extra two damage in. On the stay block my top minute. That's fine. I'm looking at this positively. I wanted that extra two damage. I already have my mirror shield out. So Kemba has hexproof. Kill death touchers. Uh oh. That's during your upkeep, right? Yep, okay. Um. Hmm. Let's Okay. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. Up dry out of the Elysian Grove. By that. Okay, but I don't have trample. No attacks. Oh, man. Plus, plus, nice. Article fine, reach. Fine. I did not start this fight, but I will finish it. Mm. Vampirism is a useful trait. That's cool. Show me... A land? Ugh. I wish I had trample. That's sad. Um, I don't think I'm worried about that, Soren. Clan. I should play. I can play it again. It's gonna chump block. A single shrine. Yep, yeah, that's all I need to do. If I kept the hope of gear of her around, this would have been different. Why are they hitting such lame creatures? <laughs> <laughs> Lame cards. The weak feed the strong. Give me trample. Just give me something with trample to make me happy. All right. 
They can mill me. Oh yeah. Fly plane. Ah. Uh. Oh man. That's sad to see it go that way. Guess I could get sort of body and mind. Let's equip this on. Block with your spirited companion. So if they don't play, yeah, it's all it's all Simic stuff. Oh no, what, what color is this? This is just a colorless shrine. So sort of body and mind won't do it. Shadow Spear will give me Life Link and Trample. The uh, that one. Embrace the bloodlust. What is it? The that one equipment. That seeks cards out will give me trample. But I gotta say, it's not looking too hot. I'm not gonna sit here forever and just let my opponent rev up their end. Now trample doesn't even matter much. Well, the okay. All right, that's it. Oh, good game opponent. Okay, so we hit a ended up playing six games and got a 50-50 win rate. Um if I can't remember if any of the mistakes I made led to my loss. But remind me, leave a comment. Remind me if any of my mistakes led to my loss. <laughs> it's so weird asking for comments and likes and subscriptions. I don't know. It feels... I don't know. That's what you're supposed to do, though, right? Just to get to get more people to watch your stuff and have more reason to make more stuff. Oh, well. Whatever. That's not for now. So uh, I think Kemba's a good deck uh, at least 50% of the time. There might be some more changes I can make. I really would like to know if there's any changes you would make. Um, please leave a comment letting me know what you would change. Um, yeah, that la oh, that last game, if I kept Hope of Gear Poor and put it Black Paper Forged on it, that would have won me the game. Uh, instead, instead, I sacked it and tried to prevent them from doing anything, from ca casting any non-creature spells, but that didn't do anything for me. I should have kept it as a flyer. Okay. Anyway. Um, I think it's a pretty good deck. Yeah, considering that I could have won. That would have had a better ratio. Cool. Okay. So Ka, Kemba Ka Enduring is definitely fun. Especially if you like equipment and mono white and cats. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.